Hey guys, welcome to Motoroids. My name is Amit and we are at the media drives of the BYD Atto 3, probably one of the most advanced uh, electric SUVs in the market right now. And since you guys uh, are probably not fully aware of what BYD as a car maker is, we have with us Mr. Sanjay Gopalakrishnan, uh, who is the SVP passenger business at BYD. And he would be guiding us through as to what BYD is as a brand. And if you think that BYD is just a car maker, you're mistaken. The capabilities are much, much uh, higher. They are into many fields. And today we're going to talk with Sanjay and he's going to enlighten us about what BYD is, what their products are and what they plan to do in India. So welcome to Motorite, sir. Thanks, Amit. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot for uh, uh, taking time out yeah. and uh, talking to our viewers. My first question is, what exactly is BYD as a brand? Can you enlighten our viewers about what exactly is it that BYD does and what have you guys been doing globally uh, for all these years and what are your plans going forward in the future? So I think BYD stands for build your dreams. I think that is the first statement to start with, you know, you build your dreams, you know, you look for the future, so build your dreams. So BYD is more than an electric passenger vehicle company. Uh, it started in as early as 1995. You can say it's one of the latest companies to be you know, recognized with the Fortune 500 companies. So we started as a battery R&D manufacturing company and slowly, slowly we expanded our capabilities globally. Uh, so now we have, of course, four main industries, right. uh, BYD. So we make, we are electronics industry, we have uh, the automotive industry business, then we have the battery energy storage systems and the rail transit system, which has been the latest addition. Uh, so these work under all are under new energy, new technology businesses, which we are you know, working on. Uh, and of course, we are a global company with almost 500,000 people, 33.5 billion US dollars of turnover. I think we have been growing phenomenally at almost 55% compound annual growth rate. So that's the kind of scale we have in terms. And we are present in almost, you know, you can say six continents across, you know, almost 400 cities you know, with various products, you know, catering to various segments. So from uh, the resource level, uh, you have the company owns silicon mines uh, to the capability of uh, making semiconductors to batteries. Yes. I understand that BYD can do things that a lot of other electric car makers cannot. Can you elaborate on that as to what makes BYD special in uh, the current scheme of things and why BYD is different? See, I think uh, from the name itself, and I told you, build your dreams, and that's what our founder chairman started thinking about it, to be a self-sufficient, you know, uh, company in its own. So I think over a period of time, it has happened, you know, graduating from, you know, one technology to higher technology to more advanced technology, and which resulted in, you know, semiconductors, chips, you know, owning uh, lithium mines, you know, and then owning the complete battery recycling system up to the recycling stage. And then of course, when we started electric vehicle manufacturing, then we realized that as a company, we have to have electric motors, electric you know, platforms, because we, we were fully focused on new energy vehicles. Right. So that's how this technology development happened, continuous R&D and technology development, which has now led us to this, that we are the largest EV maker in the world this year. You know and you know we are growing at a very fast pace is there any other company an electric vehicle maker which controls uh, the manufacture of an ev end to end like you do currently no so you are the only car yeah, maker yeah. which can like end to end create yeah. are there any dependencies are you dependent on any other company for certain components no currently or? we are not as of now right. except for the normal suspensions and all those things which normally right. provided with. Right. Otherwise, okay. the basic core of the EV technology, which is the battery and the motor and the platform, it is done by BYD, so, which is the core for any electric vehicle. So this is a very important point to note here because uh, a lot of other electric makers are generally dependent on other companies for their battery cells, for uh, a lot of other things also, uh, for the silicon, uh, for their uh, software management system, battery management systems. but. BYD is one car maker which handles everything end to end and it's important to state it here because that is what really makes BYD very, very special. So sir, that was uh, the global story, but I understand that you have been present in India for a very long time. Our viewers pr probably are not uh, aware of the fact that you have been here for a very long time and not probably in the auto business. Yeah. So yeah. can you just... Uh, yeah, so I think BYD as a company in India started in as early as 2007. Now we are 15 years old in India. We started off with electronics business, which was a core business when we started globally also. So 
So we started manufacturing mobile phones and components for even phones which are Nokia, you know, which was the first one of the very prominent mobile phones. And then of course we graduated into other manufacturers like Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, even Apple to some extent. Uh, so that was one. The electronics factory is in Chennai. It's still running, uh, you know, making components and phones. Uh, then we started doing the electric bus business through our partner, right. you know, Electra. Right. So we supply the technology part for the buses, that is the battery and the chases, which is the heart of the you bus. You guys were also the first electric we, bus we were, in India. We were the first manufacturer in India to bring the electric bus in the country. Okay. So actually when the first electric bus came, even the authorities or the officials asked, you know, where is the engine, where is the <laughs> clutch, where is, you know, what duty you have to charge right. for it. Well, they didn't know about electric right. bus. Nobody knew about electric bus as early as 2013. And then of course, I think, we did a trial of almost four years with the bus, you know, running all across the country, even up to Rotang Pass. Right. And then commercially, we launched it in 2017 with uh, Electra. Uh, so that business has been running for the last uh, five years with uh, almost delivered 8,000 buses in the country uh, with more to follow. Then we had the niche business of the electric forklifts, uh, which very few people know about it. It's a lithium ion forklift again, phosphate battery forklift where we supply to manufacturing warehousing companies where they use it internally. Right. Uh, so again, a, you know, noise free, pollution free kind of a thing. And then once we had established that, then we thought, okay, the passenger electric vehicle business in India has started growing. You know, uh, last two years we have seen that growth happening. So well, then we start, we started exploring that and we, we thought of entering the uh, vehicle, uh, passenger vehicle business with a electric MPV, you know, nobody had an electric MPV right. in the segment. So we entered with that. We started with a focus on the B2B business uh, because we thought that there is an opportunity in that. But I think, interestingly, I think the, if you see the, the initial six, 600 numbers plus which we had delivered for E6, the, the breakup is almost 50-50, 50, 50, 50 fleet and 50, you know, personal customers. So the response that you received was really yeah, good. Yeah, very, really good. So actually it helped us establish the blade battery technology right. to a large extent, you know. Uh, people were actually uh, very happy with the range which they got in the car. Uh, we also gave, since it was aimed at B2B business, we gave a uh, eight years, five lakh kilometer warranty on the battery, which became the talking point for all the fleet operators because the trust in the battery was very high with us. So that's why we gave that, uh, took that stand in India. Uh, so that helped us a lot. And of course the difference between the uh, uh, the tested range and the practical range was very less compared to other uh, competition. So that made more of confidence. When we saw the passenger vehicle business growing, we thought, okay, let us enter with the second product, the Atto 3. Especially the SUV segment was growing phenomenally in right. India. And even in EVs, SUV was the you know right. key for... Generally, the market is SUV driven. Trending towards SUVs now. So we thought, okay, let us launch this. So that's how we entered into the passenger vehicle business with the second product. Right. Yeah. So now you have talked about the MPV and the Atto 3. So can you just quickly let us know some of the standout features of these electric passenger vehicles, which make them different to whatever is available in the market? Right? Yeah, I think two main points which I've been highlighting in the presentation is it comes with a blade battery, both of them. And it is, it's both of them are born on e-platforms. So I think this is the two standout points. It's not a converted from an IC or something. It's a born e-MPV or it's a born e-SUV. Right. I think these two are the main features which stand out. Of course, in addition to that, safety, space, you know, driving comfort, the battery range, you know, in terms of 520 kilometers for MPV and the 480 kilometers NEDC for the BYD Auto 3. So this comfort. And compared to uh, E6, which was purely a B2B, which was less loaded because more practical car, the BYD Atto 3 took a different uh, game altogether with top-end features right. like ADAS level 2, panoramic sunroofs, seven airbags, top-of-the-end safety features because we are catering to a premium end right. you know, LED technology kind of a customer. So, Can you also tell our viewers about the, uh, the Blade battery and why is it special? So I think the blade battery is basically BYD proprietary technology. We have been doing research on the batteries. We graduated from you know every year from one one pack to another pack. So the blade battery basically normally in a lithium ion phosphate battery, it's basically it is a cell to module to a pack. What in, in blade battery, what we did was we eliminated the module and we went from cell to pack. 
right. which means we reduce the weight and the volumes uh, significantly and increase the efficiencies right. of the battery. You know, and then you know the car became more lighter, and of course the range efficiency also increased. And in terms of life of the blade battery, it has tremendously gone up. Uh, whatever we have noticed globally, also the blade battery life is, you know, it has run five lakh kilometers, even ten lakh kilometers in some of the E6 fleet vehicles which are running globally. So I think the blade battery has, you know, because of the structure, because of the kind of uh, structure we have got it, the life of the battery is also increased. And it is a safest battery in terms of the safety test which has passed through. Okay. Yeah. So safety test, you mean? Uh, the nail penetration test, we normally call it the Mount Everest of the, you know. Acha, uh, that's the highest level. Highest level, level okay. of safety. Uh, so basically, if you penetrate a nail through the blade battery, it doesn't have doesn't no catch physical fire. or no fatalities happening right. in the blade battery. Okay. It is just remains as such. Okay. So uh, another highlight is the safety of the blade battery, which is uh, highlighted in the presentation as well. Now, yours being a new brand, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have their apprehensions about uh, the availability of service, uh, sales network, the quality and the cost of service, also if there are any buyback reassurances. So what would you want to tell our viewers uh, if you have to re reassure them yeah. to buy your product? So I think uh, the first point of contact is the dealer, uh, dealer network, which any company has. And fortunately for us, we have got you know, very, very reputed partners with us, you know, who, who are in the industry for last 20 years handling multiple brands. So we have got a very, very good dealer network who are well known in the industry across the country. Right. You know, whether it is north, south or west, that is, I think, one of the key factors. Uh, then, of course, the service is coming up, The along with the showrooms, the service workshops are also coming up. Normally, an EV doesn't require too much of service, right. but still we want to give the customer confidence. So we are also planning to put up, the dealers are also planning to put up workshops wherever required. Another important part is availability of spare parts. We are stocking spare parts. We are creating a warehouse in Chennai right. uh, in our factory to you know uh, store parts and then, of course, pass it on to the dealers for both Auto 3 as well as E6. Uh, so that is the second part. Currently, we are present in almost 21 cities with 24 showrooms by the end of this year. Next year, we will expand it to 50 outlets, uh, you know, in various cities because the, you know, in, in some states like there will be, for example, a state like Tamil Nadu, Chennai is one major city, but you have also customers coming in from Coimbatore right. or Madurai. So that also we need to take care of. Right. So maybe th there is an outlet, there is a workshop, there is a charging infrastructure, which is very important. So that we are trying to create. Other states also, same thing happens. So in terms of charging infrastructure, of course, the biggest advantage or the biggest challenge which any consumer faces is the range anxiety. That is brought down because of our high range. high range which we give. But still, we want to support the customer. So we are putting up infrastructure at our dealerships, fast chargers at workshops and showrooms. Then we will also give support for home charging, where our home charging partner will go and install the home chargers for the BYD Auto 3 customers. Right. And then we are also tied up with charge zone and Voltic, you know, uh, such as those kind of people to put up more charging infrastructure wherever required. So I think that will give that peace of mind, even we are a new brand, you know, that's what we are exploring. What would be the warranty offered for these products? Yeah, so the BYD Auto 3 comes with a, a battery warranty of 8 years and 1 lakh 60,000 kilometers. Vehicle warranty of six years and one lakh fifty thousand kilometers. Six years. Six years vehicle oh. warranty with many parts. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the BYD E6 comes with a different warranty because it's a different segment. Right. So it comes with a eight years and five lakh kilometer warranty on the battery, which is the main. Okay. You know, because they run kilometers and kilometers because that is where the TCO works for them. Right. Know, right. You know, right. if they run more kilometers, they. But the product warranty is the same for the the, the two products. And a product warranty is the same. Okay. So that's quite extraordinary, the kind of warranties that uh, uh, Sanjay yeah. sir is talking about. Now, I wish you all the best with uh, the product, but I would also want to know what are your ambitions in India? And in the medium term, in the next couple of years, what do you plan to achieve? So basically, I think, you know, if you look at the current scenario, the penetration levels are almost 2% of the passenger vehicle market, the EV penetration in the right. EV segment. Uh, looking at various studies, internal calculations, you know, other people talking about it. If India is to become a major EV player, EV, you know, uh, player in the world, 
I think probably we are looking at a 25-30% penetration of the total PV market by 2030. You know, if you look at on a conservative levels, today 3.8 million, which is going to be there at the end of this year, will come to 5.5 million by 2030. Right. Total PV. So if you're looking at 30%, which means you're looking at 12 lakh cars, you know, which is like 1 lakh car, 1 lakh EVs per month. Right. Our ambition is to become achieve 30 percent of the total EV segment, you know, be by 2030. Okay. So we want to be that kind of a level. So looking at current products, you know, we have a variety of products in our portfolio. So phase two is when we look at expanding more facilities and manufacturing. We will explore that after the initial phase is stabilized. So maybe 2025 to 2030 is where the growth phase can happen. Right. Where we'll start exploring new products, manufacturing facilities, and all those things, that's when we'll start looking at it. One last question. Uh, who is the customer for the Atto 3? Uh, can you quickly sure. define his profile? Yeah. See, basically, when you look at the price points, you know, we are not targeting a first-time buyer because at that price point, normally you get a second-time car buyer or an addition replacement right. car buyer who wants to replace his existing premium SUV or right. a premium sedan with an electric because he wants to go electric as a part of environment conscious. And surprisingly, what we found is, you know, 40% of our bookings are coming from customers who are owning, you know, a BMW or an Audi or a Mercedes, which means they want to buy a second car or a third car for their family. Yes, there are people who have also come and want to replace their existing IC vehicles into EV. You know, it could be a SUV, it could be a sedan, premium sedan, uh, because I think First time buyers at this price level for any IC or EV will be less. So we are, I think, primarily target, whatever target we know is a second time or an additional car buyer. That's what, you know, we are looking at currently. Yeah. All right, sir, that was very, very insightful. And I'm pretty sure that our viewers also who uh, probably were not as informed about the brand and the product now know a lot more. And I really appreciate you, you. Uh, taking you. time Thanks. out. Thanks Thank you very time. much and Thanks. wish you all the very best. Thanks. Thank you.